Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Itesh and I'm back with another video. So today we are going to take a look at how we can import our opacity maps in Unreal Engine and make our material transparent. Now I don't have a opacity map with me right now, but I'm going to show you how you can change your material to work with opacity map. So I have this uh, model of a window and we have these four planes that are going to be used as glass. So I'm going to create a new material for this. So I'm going to go to right click, create a material and uh, rename it as glass or you can rename it as whatever you want. And I'm going to create a material instance, but right now I'm going to assign this on four, four planes. Now let's open this. And uh, now we have this material editor. We don't have a base color. So I'm going to press three and left click. And then I'm going to convert this to parameters. And I'm going to take this RGB value and connect it to the base color. And here we can change our default value of our color. So if I go here, I can change my color to anything I like, like this. Now we don't have this opacity channel enabled. So if we have an opacity map, we don't know how we can use that. So if you have textured your asset in Substance Painter or any 3D software, then you're going to have to export your maps and import them in Substance Painter. But to use the opacity channel, what you're going to have to do is you are going to select your material, go to this material settings and in the blend mode, you're going to change this to translucent. And when you change this to translucent, it's going to enable this opacity map. Now you can uh, take your opacity map and connect that to this opacity channel. But since we don't have one, I'm going to take a vector and I'm going to connect this to opacity. And with this vector value, we are going to control the transparency of our material. So now the value is all the way to one, which is not going to be transparent. So if I turn this down like 0.1 or 0.2, then Save this and you are going to see the changes in your material right now. Now, if you select this and convert this to parameter and uh, convert this to material instance, so you can open this in a window like this and you can change your values here. So I haven't renamed it. You can just go back to your material editor and rename this here. So if I double click here, then I can change this to color. So if I click here and uh, I go in this panel on the left, I can change the name of this parameter. So this is our capacity and let's save this. And if we go back to this material instance, we can change the values we added in our material editor. As you can see that we have the option for opacity and the color. So if I go to this color, enable it, I can change the color here. And as you can see that the output is reflected on your viewport. And you can increase or decrease the opacity if you want. Just reassign your material instance on your glass object. And now you can just play with these settings and get your desired result. So that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are watching this for the first time. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.